The events of April 27, 2011 are still fresh in the minds of these fourth graders. Then we start hearing a rumbling. We saw, like, we looked at each other and looked at the window. We saw the brief flying around. And our stepdad said, here it comes. The tree fell down and it broke the carport. My stepdad's parents did die. And our house did get damaged but not destroyed. So when English teacher Candy Tacker heard about a contest sponsored by Scholastic Books for young aspiring authors, she was sure her students had a story to tell. And so I knew it would be something that they could really, um, you know, express themselves about. Each of her three language classes has written and illustrated a book telling of the tornado, its aftermath, and recovery. April 27 was a day we will never forget. As the EF5 approached our small town, you could hear the roar, Mike, many freight trains coming, and feel the ground shaking. It happened so fast. Power lines were down. Some cars were now in houses. Animals were hurt. Many people lost their homes. Stores, restaurants, and churches were destroyed. Sadly, 16 people lost their lives. After everyone was home safely, the tornado sirens went off again. It was strange because everything seemed to be peaceful and quiet. All of a sudden, that peace faded away. Later on, many people came to help our town. Many people had to move into trailers, and some had to move out of Smithville. We had to move to a different school in the county to finish out the year, and this school was our rival. They were so kind to us and accepted us with open arms. We really appreciate everyone's help, but we knew where the real help came from. Now when we ride down the road, we see new houses, stores, and churches going up. We see our community growing and rebuilding. Even though our town was demolished by an EF5, we are still doing what we usually do. We may not look the same, but we are still the home of the Seminoles. As of now, our school is in trailers, but it's better that, that, than nothing. Always remember to be thankful for what you have because you might not have it tomorrow. In Smithville, I'm Allie Martin, WCBI News.